Please note, this video is not suitable for viewers of an easily offended disposition. You have been warned. Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and this is my very helpful hospital. Here we provide the best treatment for our patients and we are not liable for any side effects or death after a patient has left the hospital grounds. Today is a very special day. We are opening our hospital, so please bear with us before we accept our first patients. Now, the first thing that we're going to need in this game is to furnish our corridor and to actually allow patients to come into the hospital and check in. So we're going to need a reception desk, a few benches, I'm going to get quite a few of these, and a fire extinguisher radiator and plant, because why not? Now this is, in case you're unaware, a simulation game which is quite old, where you build your own hospital and treat patients with various diseases. Now this is going to be a very special let's play with a bit of a twist, and I'm sure you'll pick up on the twist as we go along. It's very special. So let's purchase these items. Right, so I'm thinking this is going to be our reception area. So let's put down all of these here like so. These are quickly going to fill up with patients. Um, our first victim, I mean, yes, patients for the hospital. And we're going to put the reception desk here. And we might as well put the fire extinguisher near the reception desk so the lady can actually grab it quickly in case of catastrophic fires. And put the radiator there to keep our people happy and a nice plant near the door that people can trip over as they walk in. <laughs> okay, and then in order to actually have this working, we need to hire a receptionist. So let's do that right now. Okay, so let's choose who we want to hire. Now our first choice is F. Petzl. Bates Taurus in museums, a very fast and diligent worker. You sound wonderful, F. Petzl. Oh, Petcliff. Collects beer mats. <laughs> Bit odd. Incredibly talented and able. Likes stage diving, loyal and friendly. That is W. Boisel. And Q. Wylan. Plays classical violin and cello, very friendly and enjoys laugh. And actually the final person is you Bilelelet, with three L's, because she's obviously from Norway or some weird country. Tick what am I on about? Tickles Trout, loyal and friendly. Okay, well, we're not going to go for the, the Trout Tickler, so we're going to hire F. Petzl, I think. She's a bit more expensive, but she has got a high staff ability. Okay, so let's hire her. Welcome to the hospital. I just can't wait to be working for such a highly qualified doctor as yourself. I've been really working hard on my anger management, and I've been managed not to hit a child for three days. This hospital doesn't cheat children, does it? Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. And we're going to put you behind the desk here to greet our, our victims. I mean, our, <laughs> our patients. Right, okay, and then the first room that we're actually going to need is we're going to need to build a... Where is it? Where is it? A GP's office. There we are. Okay, and I'm thinking we're going to put the GP's office here by the door. Uh, we don't need it to be that big. I think I'm going to just leave it about that size. We'll put the door here, and we'll put a couple of windows either side, like so. And there we are. That's created the room, and we're going to put the desk like so. A filing cabinet can go here, and we'll have the patient sitting here. Seems about right. Okay, can we buy further objects? Yes, we can. We'll put some fire extinguishers, radiators, and all this other gubbins in the room. We'll put the fire extinguisher next to the cabinet in case uh, we lose all of our files due to another catastrophic fire. That hopefully won't happen. Yes, please don't die in the corridors. That'd be most unhelpful. Okay, so we'll put the bin there, and this room is done. Okay, so this is fundamental diagnosis room in your hospital. New patients are sent here to find out what's wrong with them. They're then either sent to further the diagnosis or the room where you can be cured. You might want to build another GP's office like this one if it gets too busy. The bigger the room, the more extra objects you place in it, and the higher prestige for the doctor. It's also trivial, occupied rooms. The GP's office requires any doctor. So now we've got GP's office, we're actually going to need to hire a doctor. So let's see who we've got. Hello, what's your butchering skill? Oh dear god. Okay, listens to the radio. I like that. <laughs> That's one of his skills, apparently. Um, dreadful stamina has a bad attitude. Not the best I've ever seen. K. Bailen. <sighs> Hollows vegetables out to use as soap holders, <laughs> as you do. Cares a great deal about the job in hand. Please, golf. This is K. Wrightson. Cares a great deal about the job in hand. D. Milwin enjoys French art house films, generally well motivated and dedicated. And L. Burmore, dog lover, deaf as a post, smells faintly of cabbage. <laughs> Wonderful. And F. Warmond, 
Based tourists and museums, okay. So basically we've got a pretty poor choice of people. I'm going to go with the one with the highest skill, which I think is Kay Wrightson, who plays a lot of golf and cares a great deal about the job in hand. I'm so pleased after nearly 30 years to finally be getting offered a job. Nobody seems interested after I was caught inappropriately touching patients at a medical school. But it won't happen here, I promise. Welcome to the hospital. Hopefully you enjoy your stay and don't kill too many patients. Right, so the next room we're going to need to do is possibly a general diagnosis room. So let's go for that, shall we? So diagnosis, general diagnosis. Or in fact, we could indeed go for a treatment room. Doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll go for the pharmacy next. Seems like a good idea to me. Now I'm thinking we put all the general like treatment rooms over this way. So this seems probably big enough, like so. Have a nice long straight room. And we'll put... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we indeed want this here, but we want the door on this side. And a couple of windows either side of it. Ah, that'll be, that'll be enough. We'll just put one window in it. Okay, and then we want the treatment cabinet. We'll put it over here. And we'll buy some other general items for this room. Like so. Fire extinguisher should, again, be very useful. And we'll put a nice plant here. And a bin in the middle of the room, because there's nothing else we need in here. Okay, so the pharmacy. Patients have been diagnosed whose treatment is a drug must visit the pharmacy to take their medicine. As you'd expect, more and more drug cures are researched and become available. This room gets busy. You might want to add another pharmacy later. Requires a nurse. Okay, so the next staff member we want to add is the nurse indeed. So, we've got quite a few choices with this. Um, I probably won't read all of these out. Let's just go and see how good these people are. There's obviously one clear winner here, and I think it's going to be K. Warburm. Borm. Rearranges furniture. Charming, polite, and helpful. Exactly the sort of prestige that we need to uphold in this wonderful hospital. Welcome. I'm fairly poor at the moment. I hear the patients here are quite well off. Thank you for the opportunity to put my pickpocketing skills to the test. Honestly won't get caught this time. Right, so next we need possibly um, a... We've got a pharmacy, we probably need a psychology room. So let's go with a psychi psychiatric room next. And we'll put this down next to the GP's office. I think we'll make this one a bit bigger, like so. Put the door on this side as well. A couple of windows, that'll do for me. We'll put the screen over here so that people can stand behind it in full sight of the window, so you're not actually private at all. Well done. Okay, we'll put the nice chair like... so. So the doctor can talk to the patient. We'll buy some other items. Fire extinguisher, radiator plant, bin, a bookcase. Very nice, and a skeleton. Why not? Why not indeed? Now let's go for the skeleton first, as it's the most possibly terrifying of all of the items. We'll put that in the corner there. We will put the fire extinguisher there, the radiator there, nice plant in the corner, and a bin. You can go on this wall like so. And we'll put the bookcase. Oh, the bookcase actually needs to go on this side of the room. Bit of a problem. Maybe we'll pick this up then. We'll move this over here. And we'll put the bookcase on this wall like so. Wonderful! Okay, psychiatry. Patients diagnosed with psychiatric illnesses must visit the psychiatry department to receive counselling. Psychiatrists can also make diagnosis, finding out what type of illnesses the patient have, and if mental in orange, and treating them using a trusty couch. Okay, so we can now deal with psychological disorders, and we actually need a doctor to go in there. So I'm thinking we possibly need to hire another doctor. Possibly one with a psychology degree, which actually a lot of these already do have. I think the best one, with the highest skill as well, is D. Milwin. Enjoy his French, French art house films. Whoop whoop! God damn it, I'm so pleased you paid me to fuel my model train obsession. I bought a carriage last week worth £100 and I don't have any more money for food. Nearly tried this doctor business before. Sound wonderful, sir. Welcome to the establishment. And then, the final member of our team that we need currently is possibly a handyman in order to look after the plants, etc. 
So let's look at these guys. Highest skill is possibly this guy at the end. Worships daytime television, careful and dependable in emergency. So, as the janitor, I'll have the keys to all the rooms, including the pharmaceuticals. Well, I look after the stock, no worries, man. Dude, my hands are so huge. Sound wonderful. Welcome to the team, N. Aundbalm. Are you related to the other Aundbalm that I've hired? Possibly. Right, so now we can open the hospital by clicking here. Welcome, patients. Welcome. And here comes our first patient. Hello, sir. What is your problem? Apparently, he has a big head. Wonderful. Question is, is there a way to find out what his name is? Apparently not. Okay, so let's see how he fares in this situation. Okay, so he's going to go and see the doctor right now. What I might do is speed the game up slightly, just to see what's happening. Okay, so our guy is now going to go in for his first consultation of the hospital with our doctor. Okay, so what this guy has is, he has a condition called bloaty head. And in order to treat this, we need to place down a facility treatment facility. <laughs> now, I think it is actually a facility, or is it a clinic? Inflation, there we go. Okay, so we're going to build this room quickly. We'll put it here, like so. Place the door, and well, the windows can go here, that'll do. And this machine will sort them out. Okay, so now the inflation clinic has gone up. We've actually received a second patient, which means we can actually treat this illness now, which is very good indeed. Okay, so we actually need to build another type of diagnosis room, which means that we need to probably build a general diagnosis room over here. Should be a good idea. Make this one quite big. And this should enable us to pretty much diagnose everyone that we need. So we'll put this here, and we'll also put the machine to diagnose people there as well. And we'll put all these other nice things in here for them. So now there's a bit of a queue for this room because they both need to get treated in it, which is absolutely fine indeed. That's what it's there for. Okay, so patients who require further diagnosis are sent to be checked here. If the GP's office doesn't find out what's wrong with them, general diagnosis often will. From here, they'll be sent back to the GP's office for analysis of the results produced here. Okay, so here we go. We've got our third patient in, who is going to be sitting down. He's got some sort of mental disease, which is not very nice indeed. But hopefully we've actually... Have we managed to sort him out? Is he our first person that we've fixed? I'm not certain. Okay, so this guy is actually being diagnosed right now. And then hopefully he'll be able to be treated imminently. Doctor, please. So we go, the other guy's going in there. This guy obviously knows what's wrong with him. Okay, so he's trotting around quite happily. Ah, and our first patient has been treated. Wonderful. I am glad you have been satisfied, my dear friend. Go and enjoy your life. Later that day, John, on his way to the laundrette, collapsed in the street. Having been prescribed unnecessary drugs earlier in the day, it had caused his innards to turn into what could only be described as a congealed, chunky soup. You could say that he had a superb experience at Dr. Parker's helpful hospital. Another happy customer. So just to pause it quickly, this guy's getting quite upset with us, so we're going to need to build a staff room. So let's go with one of those. And we're going to build it over here, out of the way. Because our staff do need a little bit of a rest. Like so. And that'll do for now because I'm worried about other people. Okay, there's thirsty people standing around. So, what we need to do now... And in fact, have we cured our second person? We haven't, but we're about to... Yes, there's our second person cured, and the third one is about to be cured. Matthew was certain he could hear a hissing sound after he left Dr. Parker's hospital. Having been treated for having a bloated head, the puncture wound used to deflate and reinflate his head had not been stitched back up. Throughout the rest of the day, Matthew's head slowly deflated, leaving him looking like a damp sock and dead. How unfortunate. Having left Dr. Parker's hospital earlier in the day, Frederick felt better. His swollen head back to its normal size. 
Unfortunately, the tool used to puncture his cranium was contaminated with a flesh-eating bacteria, which had been slowly consuming his brain throughout the day. You could say he was feeling good, but a little empty on the inside. We're here to help. Wonderful news. Right, so let's get some more benches. Get a drinks machine as well. And we're curing everyone at top speed now. I'm glad you've all had good, such good stays at the hospital. Please come again. You'll probably need it. And you, lady. You'll probably need it. Once back at home after her appointment earlier in the day, Susie was sitting on the toilet after feeling a slight burning sensation in all of her body. Unbeknownst to her, she had been given an injection of industrial strength bleach. The immense overdose of paracetamol had also covered up the pain of her body corroding away until now. She dissolved away into the toilet bowl, leaving behind only her wedding ring and one clean toilet. Another patient well treated. Okay, well I think we've cured enough people for today, so... This begs the question, if you enjoyed the format of this video and actually like the concept as something that I'm trying out on my channel, then please feel free to leave your comments and thoughts below. Also, leaving a rating will let me know what you think of the series and if you want to see some more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.